Escalating tensions in the Middle East after the U.S. led retaliatory strikes against Iranian backed militants in Yemen. President Biden says the move is in direct response to weeks of attacks on commercial ships in the Red Sea. KTLA's Eric Spillman joins us live now from the newsroom with the details. Eric, good morning. Morning, Jessica. The U.S. and Britain decided to punch back against the Houthi militants to try and show them there is a price to pay for disrupting international trade. Still, experts who study the group say they're not likely to stop. It was a pre-dawn strike. You could see the light from explosions in the sky above Yemen's capital of Sana'a and in other parts of the country as well. U.S. and British warplanes delivered the bombs. U.S. fighter jets took off from an aircraft carrier. They knocked out the Houthis' command and control centers, weapons storage depots and radar systems. And U.S. forces also used Tomahawk missiles launched from warships and submarines to bomb the militant group, which is backed by Iran. In all, the U.S. Air Force says it struck dozens of sites in Yemen a Houthi military spokesman says there were at least 73 airstrikes in Yemen's capital, killing at least five fighters. It's all in response to what the Houthis have been doing in the Red Sea. There's an armed take takeover we want to show you of a commercial ship. Uh, that's really just one example. The Houthis have been attacking shipping using drones and missiles since the beginning of the Israel-Hamas war. They say to support the Palestinians in Gaza. The Red Sea is one of the world's most important shipping lanes. 15% of all global commerce passes through those waters. It's clear that this type of behavior can't be met without a response. We need to send a strong signal that this breach of international law is wrong. Uh, people can't act like this with impunity, and that's why, together with allies, we've decided to take this action. The Houthis control a section of Yemen. They've strengthened their military capabilities during the civil war in that country. Part of their slogan says, death to America death to Israel and a curse upon the Jews. I spoke via Zoom earlier this morning to Congressman Brad Sherman, who represents the San Fernando Valley. He says the U.S. had to act. We had to take some action, uh, push them back a bit, and there may be some more at that level. Uh, and look, it's within the power of Iran and, and the Houthis to make this much bigger. Um, they get, they, 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 uh, they play a role in, the, in whether this becomes a, a bigger conflict. In Yemen this morning, a massive demonstration against the U.S. strikes with people chanting, God is great, America is the great Satan. One Mideast expert says the Houthis welcome a confrontation with the U.S. because they hope to see an expanded regional war and they're eager to be on the front lines. Brian